right. Get off. Get off. We're here. Now wait a minute before you enter and listen to the advice of an old wise eagle. As we were flying past the lake, I couldn't help but notice a certain degree of restlessness. Why? Everything seemed quiet to me. Exactly, little Wraith. That's my point. If you had seen as much of the world in your life as I have in my many, many years, you would know by now that usually when the lake has thawed after winter, it gets quite crowdy with little rat ships on the lake, little rat docks on the waterside where they unload fish and little rat merchants selling their little rat trinkets. Currently, however, everything is suspiciously quiet. What do you think is going on? I'm a woodland eagle girl, not a wizard. I may be able to see from above, but I can't exactly look inside the rat holes, now can I? Why don't you go take a peep for yourself? Only one more piece of advice. Oh, another one? Yes, if you want it. I think the girl should go alone. Why? I prefer the wraith's protection and company. I'm afraid, girl, that his kind isn't exactly appreciated in the rat community. Do you think they'll mistake me for one of those druzzles or something? Dorsals, Wraith. And no, they won't. But they will take you for a dark snatcher. And I can't blame them, to be honest. Anyway, that's all I have to say on the matter. I'll be off. ta, -ta. Wait! What are Dark Snatchers? She can't hear you, Mirelia. She's gone. I suppose you'd better go on without me. I will wait here for your return. Wraith, is something wrong? I need to think about Redler's words. Don't forget, I trust you. Like it ain't no crazy enough around here. What with the war and a gully washer, a damn for the boot, and then this looker comes all a banging on the door too. Uh, not that a mind, mind ya. Now what's your name, Bill? Excuse me. Excuse me. That's some kind of elf's name, or son. You sure you ain't pulling my leg or nothing? I, I just don't understand what you're saying. Ah, oh, dang nabbit, you deaf or something? Um, no, I'm not deaf. I just don't quite understand. Ah, uh, I reckon I'm speaking a bit too fast for you, dear. All right, I'm slowing it down, you hear? Now, listen up. I'm asking you one more time. What's your name and your business in this here parts? I'm called Marilia, and I'd like to speak to your captain. You want to talk to the captain? I'm afraid he's occupied for now. He'd go into a hissy fit if I go and bother him now at times, I'll swamp him. Um, I, uh... Do pardon my scurrilously impertinent counterpart, mademoiselle. Allow me to averticate the door for your kind person. I don't mean to intrude, but... There is no butterification inherent to your presence amidst our rodentic community of any kind. Pas du tout, mademoiselle. Je vous beg, please allow me to acceptificate your manteau. Uh, oh, my, my cloak. Um, of course, please take it. Ah, voilà, voilà. Enchanté, mademoiselle. Ah, moi, 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 moi. Right. Now, I'd like to see your captain, please. Uh, le capitaine? Hmm, this is most unusual, but if he permits it, I shall accompany you to his person. However, please, I would like to demand very peacefully of you, keep it not too long. 
We have no besoin of too many blabla et comme ci, comme ça. N'est-ce pas? D'accord? I think so. And all right. Then we understand each of the other. Alors, I bid you to follow me. Uh, this way, please. Uh, you do realize that we are in the middle of a crisis most horrible? A crisis? Are we? The war that we have? It is the time of war! Who are you at war with? You do not know? The Dorsel. The Dorsals? Very much we. Oui. You are not a verificator of this situationality. Say, you are not a spy of the enemy, are you? No, no, I'm not a spy. Ah, then it is good. We cannot allowify any spy persons in the radical community. The strange, fussy rat took Mirelia down the tunnels of the rat's fortress, all the while telling her about the fighting skills and capabilities of the rat army, and fiercely gesticulating and speaking in exaggerating tones. Meanwhile, Mirelia noticed some of the other rats, all gruffer and more imposing sorts than her companion. Many were preparing their weapons, some even filing their teeth at the sharpening wheel. While most rats were still preparing their equipment, some stood ready, bearing halberds, wearing heavy combat gear and talking nervously about the coming battle. After a long walk through the complicated tunnels, they at last reached what Marilia's guide called the War Room. Despite its name, it was just a simple sandy hole, lit by a single oil lantern. In the middle of the room stood a rough wooden table where a large map was placed. Poring over the map was the captain. He was taller than all the other rats and wore an enormous dark blue tricorner hat rimmed with gold and adorned with a huge plume. Even more impressive was his moustache that dangled from his snout halfway to the floor. Monsieur Capitaine? Yes? I herewith present a fight to you, Mademoiselle Merilia. She has reviated from many distances ago and is in a great desirability to conversicate with you. I see. Merilia, is it? I'm delighted to meet you. My name is Captain Winkai. Rarely have I seen a beauty as splendorous as yours, if I may say so. What brings you to this war-torn place? <clears throat> well, um, the alchemist. The mole, Voltum. <laughs> Good old Voltum, huh? How is that grumpy, lovable old curmudgeon doing? Well, he looked fine, but... <laughs> but nowhere near as fine as yours truly, I'm sure. Well, he doesn't share your rattish charms, of course. But what I wanted to ask Oh, ask me anything, dear. I don't mind. Good. In that case, I would like to ask you, unless you prefer to interrupt... Why would I do that? Oh, no reason. Now I would... I mean, interrupting is not my style. I'm far too handsome for that. I see. So, if you don't mind, I'd like to ask you if you happen to possess any memory potions. Memory potions? I'm sorry. If you'd visited a bit earlier, I might have been able to help you. However, I fear they've all been used during our efforts to retrieve the ancient fly tunnels dug by the rats of old. All of them? I'm sorry, dear. We rats may be good-looking, dashing, and striking, but we're still a bit forgetful, nevertheless. Then I'm at a loss. I'm sorry, I suppose I'd better... No, leave. but my dear lady, whoever said I wasn't able to help you somehow? You forgot how wonderful I am. I mean, what's your actual problem? The ray... I mean, I... I need to remember something. I can't remember what, and no one can tell me. Hmm. Yes, in that particular situation, memory potions do tend to be quite useful. However, there may still be some alternative routes to take for you. Do you really think so? No, of course I do. Have you seen my moustache? Then what do you propose? Propose? I think it's a bit early for that, darling. Although I can hardly blame you for being awestruck by my appearance, of course. 
However, I do have a way for you to retrieve this memory of yours. You see, legend has it that there is a castle on the bottom of the lake, a palace, if you will, made from the coral that grows there. I hear it's quite wonderful. There was a time long ago when mermaids lived in that palace. They've long since left this lake, however, and nobody knows where they are now. Mermaids? Truly? Truly, absolutely, my dear. In fact, I can prove it to you. You see, the queen of the mermaids, Lyagora, possessed a mirror. This mirror allows those who gaze into it to, hold on, to see visions. Visions of the past and visions of the future. Oh, really? Are you serious? I most emphatically am. And the best part of it all is <laughs> it's a mirror, so you can still admire yourself in it, too. Huh. I think the wraith will... I mean, that's wonderful. Wraith? Uh, what's this wraith? I misspoke. Hmm. Captain! Captain! The dorsals! They're attacking! What? Quick, put everyone in position. Man all posts. We're not prepared. There's no choice. If we don't fight, we die. So we fight. Morelia... Please remain here. This should be the safest place in the fortress. But I can't stay. Please, don't venture anywhere near those dorsals. They're terrible. Terrible. <laughs> With these words, the captain and his guards sped out of the room and made their way to meet the troops and push back the unexpected attackers. Marilia, still left behind in the war room, decided she couldn't stay in this place. She was far too worried about the Wraith, who might be in serious trouble. It was time for action. She left the room and quickly ran through the many narrow corridors of the Rat's tunnel system. Eventually, she reached a wider hall, only to find out that intense fighting was already going on there. Pushing back the relentless dorsals and their thorny black weaponry with their own shiny, well-polished blades, the rats fought, and they fought with honor. Marilia tried to stay out of the way of the deadly combat, and when she found a lonely corridor, she quickly turned that way, hoping to stay as far away from the monsters and the fighting as possible. Unfortunately, it was in this corridor that she was suddenly surrounded by three large dorsals carrying torches. With menacing grins, they advanced on her as one of them produced a huge net, no doubt intending to catch Mirilia and abduct her. What do you want with me? I've done you no wrong. Take her. Take her to the great wraith. Wraith? Well, catch her. No! Master! Leave her! She is mine. Yes, Master! Go! Leave this place, retreat, and take all of your troops back. But, but the Dark Masters, they ordered us. Am I not a Dark Master then? Leave! Now! Yes, my lord. Marilia, when I saw those evil creatures sneaking this way, I knew you were unsafe here. They caught you, Master. Yes. Apparently I do look like the wraiths who command them. The dark snatchers, I'm sure. I thought I might as well make best use of my appearance. A good idea. But what do you think it means? I don't know. I'm starting to doubt if I really want to recall my past. Nothing I've gleaned of it so far sounds very uplifting. I still trust you, Aeth. You're not like one of those dark whatevers out there. 
Maybe that's only due to the fact that I've forgotten who I really am. Halt! Capture that wraith! No! Don't hurt him! Merilia. Don't be fooled, my lady. These creatures excel at deception. What are you going to do to him? Well, destroy him, of course. No! Please, don't! My dear Marilia, I do not believe you realize the extent of the danger of your current predicament. Very expertly expressionated, Capitan. <laughs> thank you, thank you. No, we must... question him! Question him? Question him? Hmm. Well, not a bad idea, actually. My, my, Marilia. Beautiful and smart to boot. A dangerous combination indeed, as my enemies must be well aware. <laughs> All right, take him to the interrogation room. Very well, that's where he belongs. Now, some wine, Marillion? No. Are you sure? It's quite a seductive wine. No, thank you. Shouldn't we be resolving this misunderstanding first? Very well, very well. Misunderstanding, you say? Why is that? Well, the wraith here is my friend. He's harmless, and he has no connection to the Dorsals whatsoever. I've been travelling alongside him since I left the Elven Tree. Mm. Can't say I'm convinced that Dark Snatchers could seek out their victims anywhere. Why don't you believe me? He's no dark snatcher. Marilia, I've seen those snatchers, albeit from a distance. And trust me, they do look a lot like this thing here. He is not a thing. Marilia. Do you even know what the dark snatchers are known to do? That's not important. Well, I believe it is. They hunt for little elves, capture them, and suck out their life essence. Those elves then turn into dorsals, mindless monsters that can only destroy forever under the command of the Dark Snatchers. They are the most powerful beings of darkness save one. Only the monster whose body is shadow is even more unspeakable. I'm telling you, those wraiths are cruel, harsh, and infinitely cunning. Well, this wraith is nothing like that. He's kind, tender, and infinitely loyal. Don't you realize he's simply won you over with his charms? His charms, Captain. Do you think he's charming? I only want to help you, Marilia. I want to protect you. That's why I'm here. Then free him. He saved me from the Dorsals. He even ordered them to stop their attack. Well, the fact that those creatures obeyed him and called him master is exactly what makes him so suspicious. And the fact that they retreated, <laughs> well, that was their only option once they realized that I was in command of the troops here. But I... he... Marilia. Wraith, what's happening? Your hand. What's that bright light shining from it? It's something new I've discovered. It seems to be a gift of some sort, but it hurts. It's beautiful. Captain, would a being of pure darkness ever be able to produce such beauty? I'm not sure, Marillion. No matter how wonderful I am, even I don't know. Perhaps it is time for the questions to be directed at our suspect. Wraith? Tell me about yourself. Forgive me, Captain. But I'm afraid you're asking the impossible of me. I have forgotten who I am. I'm in search of the truth. And that is why I'm traveling with Marilia. Aha! So that's why you needed that memory potion, isn't it, Marilia? It's true, Captain. <laughs> My brilliant deductive reasoning has never failed me. But why would a sweet, pretty elven girl like Marilia travel with the likes of you, Wraith? 
I might be able to help her too. Help? You? Doing what exactly? Marilia? I'm looking for someone. The Wraith may have seen the person I seek at some point in its grim past. It's a small hope, but all I have to cling on right now. And even though we've had to endure hardships and seen evil, and even though I miss my home, I haven't regretted my decision to take this journey with him for a moment. Not a single moment. <laughs> it almost sounds like you really care about each other. We do. I can take no measure of you, Wraith. I have no idea who you really are. However, I can show you. Show him? How? Merillium, I've told you before of the mirror that once belonged to Queen Lyagora. Well, being the brave adventurers we rats are, we've actually dived deep into the lake and found the Coral Palace, including the mirror. That's wonderful! However, whoever looks into the mirror and that person alone will see flashes of his past and his future. And what it is they will see is almost impossible to predict. Some only see a trivial memory and others are suddenly overwhelmed by their whole lives condensed into a single moment. So, if we let the Wraith look into this mirror, he himself may find out more about his past, but we won't. I trust he will tell us the truth afterwards. I need to hear it from him, Marillion. Well? I cannot promise you I will tell you all that I will see, but, but what I tell you will be true. That is his right. It is everyone's right. Except for those who serve the darkness. I swear to you, I will not lie. And I will not deceive you in any way. Hmm. I don't know if you're being truthful right now. But if Marilia trusts you, then I have no other choice than to follow her example. Tomorrow we will bring you to the mirror. And then we will find out more, I hope. Thank you, Captain. Thank you. You have truly made the right decision. <laughs> well, that does seem to be a tendency of mine. But in any case, tonight the Wraith remains locked in this cell. And if you still trust him after tomorrow, Merillion, then I'll set him free. But I want him to leave right away. Then I will sleep in this interrogation room tonight and leave with him tomorrow. As night fell, the rats returned to their lairs. Captain Winkai paused before leaving the interrogation room and asked of Merilia one last time if she really didn't want somewhere more comfortable to sleep than a chair next to the wraith cell. But Merilia refused. So the captain nodded and extinguished all torches save one so a tiny bit of light still remained in the room. Then he wished her a pleasant night's rest and left. Silence fell, a deep, thoughtful silence. Until, unexpectedly, the wraith spoke. Merilia? Wraith, you're awake. I told you. I don't sleep. I only rest. Right. Are you all right? I'm so sorry you have to sit there in that depressing cell. I don't mind, Mirella. I'm happy I'm allowed to live at all. I have you to thank for that. I only did what I had to. No, Mirella. You did much more than that. No one would have stuck out their neck for me like that. 
There is no reason to trust me by the looks of me. In fact, I've been wondering, why is it that you do trust me? My past is unknown to me, but everything points to it that I'm... I'm... No, Ray. Not those thoughts. Not those. What choice do I have? All that I see of myself is ugly and evil. What's ugly about accompanying a lonely elven girl on a dangerous journey? Where is the evil in protecting her and saving her from dorsals? I'm a creature of the dark, Mirelia. Can you not see? Guardian angels don't come in black hooded cloaks and... And they don't look like... Like demons. Look, Wraith. <sighs> Look at your hand. You're emitting light. It hurts. To bring light into the world often does. This wraith is who you are. This, not your appearance. Mirelia. How, how can you know that? No, don't take my hand. The light doesn't hurt me. It keeps me warm. And it's cold in this cave. Are you afraid? The mirror will show you that my trust in you is well placed, Wraith. No, Mirelia, I mean... Are you afraid to look into the mirror yourself? Yes, I am. Don't be. I'm afraid that I will see Nuswick. Because I don't know if... If he will ever see me again. I have faith in it. How can you? I don't know, but something deep, something deeper than a feeling, is telling me that you will meet him again. 